Hi guys, my name is FiFi and welcome back to another episode of the Dyson Sphere program. Right. In the last episode, we pretty much just sort of learnt the basics, got familiar with the the mechanics and the controls and whatnot. But today, we're going to build a small base with a bus system, which is um, the bus system is basically a conveyor, uh, a load of conveyor belts together that have pretty much all the items that I need on it, well the beginner items anyway. So I found this sort of resource area here. If I zoom out a bit, you can see we've got coal, we've got iron, we've got stone, we've got loads of coal. The only thing is I don't have any copper here. Now the closest copper is up here and over here and over here. Now I do have this coal get in mind, but we will deal with that. We'll mostly go for this coal up here and bring it across the river or the sea and attach it down here somewhere. So, first of all, let's get back into making this. So, I've been making some buildings and we need to get as much mining done as possible. So we need to make these hit the most amount of nodes it can possibly hit. Um, and then, once we've done that, oh, I really want to get that one on the side there. I wish the range was just a little bit more. Okay, I like that. And we'll do maybe one. I feel like that's just a waste there. So if we take it off the grid and rotate it like this, Oh yes, I like that. So that's them two done. Then we need uh, some stone. So let's get some more miners out. All right. Uh, oh, I feel like that can get quite a bit there. Hmm. Maxi looks like I can get. It is five or six, sorry. All right, let's do that there. And let's see what we can get over here. That's a nice amount there. And then last but not least, we need to go for the iron, no iron, coal. And then that'll be all the resources around here. We can attach these other ones as and when we need. Um, but at the moment, this should be fine because there is quite a lot of materials in uh, one node. Hmm. Oh, that's a good amount there. Uh, I just need one more good amount. That's fine. It'll be fine. Oh, that's that's right. All right. So one thing I do want to do now is sort of bring it down to smelters. I need to bring all of these to smelters. Now I don't think I need to put coal in a smelter. I don't know what it smelts into. So if we take a look at our crafting, it doesn't seem like I need coal for anything here, as in smelter-wise. It looks like it would mostly just be needed for um, fuel at the moment. So at the moment, I'm just going to stockpile them. Until I know what I'm doing with them, we're just going to stockpile them. So we can put that there. We can put that there. Get some uh, sorters. And... No. Okay, we do need a conveyor belt. I thought we could do it without the conveyor belt, but it looks like we do need a conveyor belt there, which is fine. We can just do that and that. Get our storage. Whoops! No, don't don't build it. Ah, 
get our storage right here and here and then get the sorters from here to here like that like so and that way we will have coal and we'll have tons of coal for now and then when we know what to do with it uh, we can use it basically so let's get some power in here I wonder if that can hit both of them if not I might I may need a mm, no it just doesn't hit the other one okay I need to build some transmitters that's another thing we need to do we need to get some of these buildings automated so I don't have to keep hand building it because um, it costs energy and time and what is good as well is taking my bars for my mining uh, location where I'm producing bars so it's not actually taking any of these resources it doesn't look like I may be wrong it may have taken something but I don't think it is all right so one should have been built by now no actually it builds all the components then builds it cool so while that's building let's get on to here so now here is a different story we have two things that stone can turn into one stone turns into um, stone and one and two stone turns into glass so I can either do two things one of two things I can make each miner do a separate um, production or I can combine the productions and I wonder if you can combine onto one uh, belt maybe I don't have that ability yet um, so maybe it will be best to just do it on each make its own each little thing for now until we get a bit more efficient okay so we're gonna put a smelter here and then and one here as well and then we're gonna put a storage and storage oh no that's the wrong button that's the wrong one storage and ah got rid of that okay let's do one at a time um sorter goes from no, again it needs conveyor belts it's all part of the learning process it's all part of oh <laughs> what am i doing okay let's get that back that looks good right let's get conveyor coming up that looks good let's get that there and let's get and I don't think between a storage and a smelter you need a uh, you don't need a conveyor but I don't believe what we're about to find out too close okay I can work with that so put you there uh, lovely so now I can choose what I want to make here so here we'll make glass and there that would just put glass in lovely I like so we need power put some power there put another one there just to keep the power going and we'll put some relays here and here that should be perfect so now look at that glass is being produced so I'm going to quickly do that for everything else and get some power over there and I will see you guys in a sec okay so I've done all the storage of coal there I'm making glass I'm making stone slabs I guess that's what they're called but well, they're called stone but they look like more like stone slabs 
Um, I'm making these magnets and some iron plates over there. So we still need to do copper. Now, as it's dark, you can't really see it, but it's over there. And there's not many of them, but I feel like that's all we've got for now. Um, how many I have 39k in some? All of it is coming up to nearly 300k of copper. So, how are we going to bring that down here? I wonder if we can build conveyor belts across here. I'm not sure if we can. But let's um, go and try. Let's go and try. Why not? First, let's get some fuel because we're running out of fuel here. Let's put that on actually. There we go. Actually, I could take a lot more. I could take a lot more because it's just going to fill up anyway. Let's put another stack there. Another stack there. And that should be filling up my power supply quite easily. And while we're doing this, what do we need? We need some more miners. So we need uh, at least two of them. And we're gonna need, uh, we've got power, we've got transmitters. We're gonna need some conveyor belts. We need quite a lot of them. And there's the, is that the one that I was looking for? I don't remember it being there. But if that's closer, then why not? Yeah, that's the one I was going to go to. But this one seems a little bit closer. It's half the amount though. Well, not half, but a lot less. You know what? We're going to go to the bigger one. Why not? So is everything getting made there? Cool. And you know what? I think we can do some research. I'm not sure if we, we can do this research. Um, should we actually use all items, or do I only can I only use infantry items? Okay. So what do we need? We need the magnets and the circuit boards. Well, in fact, I'm not making them, so I understand why it's not using them in from the assembler because I'm not actually making it. So hey ho, all right, ten of each. Sounds good. We got all the materials. Good. Well, I'm not sure about copper because we haven't started making copper yet. Copper plates. So let's use this. It doesn't seem that big though, does it? Let's get that out of the way. Okay, it doesn't want to work like that. All right, so we need some miners. We've got two, which is great. Can I somehow get... No, I can't. Okay, let's get the last one out here. That would be perfect, you know. <laughs> that would have been perfect. Uh, uh... Oh, look at that. That is great. That is absolutely fantastic. Look, we're just missing one of them. All right, we need some conveyor belts. Oh, it can't come out. No, no. Okay. For now, we're gonna leave that because I like this thing. Hopefully we'll be able to build some terrain um, platforms there so that... Why is that colliding? Did I just do it wrong? Okay, that's fine. Did I do this one wrong as well? Oh, oh, I like that. There we go, I just was an idiot basically. All right, we'll get you there and we'll get a, a storage just as a buffer system. We do need another storage. Um, how are we gonna make that? 
we're going to make that by going on here. And we can produce one for now. And then the same, and then we need to get some of these sorters. So that goes from there to there, goes from there to there, and power would be here. And then we can put some transmitters around. Cause I feel like transmitters seem to have a wider range. And that should give us enough power for that. All right, that can produce that. Lovely. And that means I should be able to produce more of these magnets. Why have I not got... Hmm, is it not taking it from the smarting facility? That is weird. Because I am making some. Let's see. Uh, we got detailed display in the wetness statistics. So magnets. Yeah, production 21.5 per minute. Or 20, a bit more. Um, so I don't know why it's not able to take it. Maybe we're just too far away. Um, so can I produce some magnets myself here? Produce like 10 of them. But that's using the iron I've got on me. Okay, so I'm seeing a little problem here. I think we're too far away. So that's fine. Um, we'll slowly do that research. First, let's just finish up here. So again, we're gonna need a smelter there storage there. We need one of you there. And I may change this around as in change what it's producing because at the moment we can only make this with copper but eventually I'm sure we can make more. So now we need to play about with belts a bit. And I have quite a few belts. So if I get that coming out here, yeah, stop that there. And I get this one here. Okay, I've got a lack of item. If I put that there, put there, that should, in theory, uh, make it come out here. Let's see, is it going to build it? Lovely. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it does. Cool. Now, I want to know if I can put these onto that rack. But first, we need some more conveyor belts. And to get that, we need to go back to our little production place over here. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so maybe I was wrong about this stuff coming from your storage when you're making it from here. I think it only comes from your inventory, which is fine. Um, I think uh, we need to get things fastly done or get things done fast on the assemblers now so we don't have to worry about that. So I've made loads of, um, oops, I've made, I've made loads of conveyor belts here. And I'm wondering if I can use this all right, let that build it first. And I think they can only go quite close to me, it looks like. But yeah, I've made loads of conveyor belts. We've done the research now. The research came up, so we can now do actual research, which would be something we definitely need to look into. All right, so let's try and put a sorter from here to here. Oh, and that works. Great. That's amazing. And I have no more. Can I make one, please? Just one more? I could make just one more. <laughs> just about. All right. Let's get you on there. And then let's get this. Now, I don't really know the, um, the speed at which conveyor belts work. All right, where are we going? We're going 
down there somewhere. So I want to kind of... It's going to be a bit of a spaghetti at the moment. Um, I hope I can build across. Yeah, can do. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a spaghetti at the moment, but we're going to try and get this all the way back to the area with the other resources and see how that goes. I'm mostly going to time lapse this um, this part because it's quite boring and quite long. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so now I've got that traveling all the way over here. That's a very long conveyor belt um, of copper bars, I believe they're called, or slates. Um, I ran out of energy doing all of that and I couldn't fly anywhere, so it was hard crossing the water. But now we need to figure out how, where are we going to put all these assemblers that we're going to make. I definitely need to make more um, conveyor belts, which is, I think it's just basically iron. Iron gears, yeah, which, so iron ingots that take, that takes one from the gear as well for the gear. So it needs three of these to make one of them. So we just need loads of iron, which is a very basic um, recipe, which is great. Nice and easy to make. Um, let's get quite a few of them there. And let's start doing that. Since I have quite a bit of energy on me. Alright. So we're mostly going to make the assemblies around here somewhere. And then we'll bring up all the conveyor belts that we need. So we've got the iron there, stone there and the copper from there. So we've got to think about what we're going to want to make with these assemblers. Now, if I get like that, like that, if I make four of them for now, I've only got four. How would I get them to go in so we can get the um, we can get the belts going down here here and here so that's not too much of an issue issue now what do I want these to make they can only make three things at the moment so maybe I want magnet coils which you can make with one uh, one copper and two magnets, which is fine. Gears, which is one in, uh, iron and one copper, two iron. So at the moment, we don't need stones in there. So I'm going to make anything that needs copper on this side because the copper is coming from down here. So that needs copper and that needs copper. Cool. And this one can make these for the moment. Now I wonder if they can make buildings. Ah, oh, they can make buildings. Hmm. Hmm. This is this is interesting. Maybe I have one making conveyor belts for now or power. What do I need more? Maybe conveyor belts. But that means I'll need iron uh, iron gears. Okay, let's put that as a conveyor belt for now. We can always take the iron gears from there and some from here. As long as it's not too close. I think that may be too close. Let's take a look. So if I put that... No, it's not too close. Cool. I like. Me likey. Okay, so. We need some of these plates coming out to this one and this one. So let's get that conveyor belt going. Oh, look at that. It's like it's planned, isn't it? It was like it was planned. We need some going to that one. 
and we need magnets going to that one. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this here, I believe. Oh, I need a few more of these, don't I? Okay, let's make some of these. Make a good 10 of them. All right. So, that can go in there. That can go in there. And that can go in there like that. And then we're gonna bring the copper all the way down here. All right, you can go. There. Oh, just, just past it. That's not too bad. Because we can put that like that. And I believe these can stretch out quite far. We'll see anyway. If I have to delete some of it, that's fine. All right, let all that finish and um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so there you have it. We're making um, conveyor belts at the moment. We're making gears, uh, computer chips, and magnets. Well, the better magnets. What are they called? The magnetic coils using magnets. So we've got these three getting made. I'm going to start needing to produce these soon because we've unlocked the research. And I think in the next episode, we need to stop our research so that we can start doing research and getting better because I'm really slow. The machines are really slow at the moment. We need more efficiency, we need better power. We need a lot of everything. And on that note, thank you again for watching. I think we'll end the episode here. And on the next episode, we'll delve into research and research production. So thank you for watching and like and subscribe if you haven't liked or subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.